Hi, 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 everybody! Welcome back to my channel. Hi. Okay, guys, it's a new year, and I promise you that this year I'm gonna do better with my videos, guys. And the... I'm blushing. I'm blushing. I'm blushing, guys. Today I'm with a very close friend of mine. I needed to meet my friend Nita here. So what we're gonna be doing, guys? We're gonna be doing a question and answer for you guys to know about us. For us to know more about each other, because mm -hmm. you know sometimes you don't really talk about each and everything, and now we just decided to like okay today we're gonna sit down and we're not just gonna assume we're gonna ask each other questions. Uh, I don't know her questions, she don't know mine. I'm sharing. I'm I'm kind of nervous though. Are yeah, you? that's what I'm saying. I'm sharing. <laughs> I, I I'm I'm really nervous. So guys, this is my girl. Hi everyone. Hello. <laughs> so oh, I have the snot paper. <laughs> <laughs> She's been trying to do a setup. I'm gonna take a picture of the setup that she put for us, guys. We have uh the vodka. We have some drinks, some goodies. We've got a surprise also. So guys, just tune in and make sure that you finish the video and see the surprise at the end of that and guys she's also a youtuber she's a new youtuber welcome thank you YouTuber. she's my friend my co-youtuber and it's so wonderful guys that we're gonna be doing this together so this is our first video together and mm -hmm. i hope you're gonna enjoy it make sure that you follow her and subscribe on her youtube channel follow her on instagram i will definitely put her information right on the screen so you guys Go check her out and see what she's got, what she's got, what she's got. She's so much fun. She's all about um, life. She, she, she doesn't limit herself. So just expect anything wowing in her music. I mean, in, in, in her YouTube channel. Why am I thinking of music? <laughs> I'm sorry. So guys, her name is Nita and she is under the name Nita's Corner, both on Instagram and on YouTube. So make sure that you follow her, guys. Mm. Mm. So now we're gonna get on with the video. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? Do we have our questions? Where are my questions? I have my questions here. There's your diary? No. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I need to, it's not a diary, I don't diary, I, oh. I just write in a book. Oh, it's a book, it's not a diary. Guys. Yeah, it's, it's a book. not a diary, it's just a book, <laughs> see, so, I'm not, I'm not gonna write, rocks, paper, who's gonna start first? Hmm? Rocks, paper. I don't know how to do it actually. Rocks is a, okay, so this is scissor, mm -hmm. this is rock, this is paper. Okay. So, scissors always... Uh, okay, leave the game. So, who's gonna start first? You wanna start a, first? Do you have a coin? Okay, by the way, I'm in your house. I'm your guest. So, you start first. Really? Mm-hmm. Uh-uh. You opened, you opened the game for me. This is your house. Ooh, look at me. <laughs> <laughs> because I feel so comfortable. <laughs> That's that that's the idea, like we need to be comfortable. Why is it really. like this? Guys, can you see this? <laughs> like she's literally so comfortable. I'm on her. Well, we slept together last night, so Okay. Which was really cool. I have an interesting question because uh Blue's name, Blue's birth name is not blue. Blue's birth name is Tilivali. Which I think is the most beautiful name ever, but this morning I learned the meaning of it and I want her to tell you guys the meaning of it. Okay, Tilly Valley, it means I do not forget. Like, I do not forget. It, it goes to like when you say a Tilly Valley, I do not forget. That is the meaning of my name. Okay. That's it. He's asking me the meaning of my name. You, you're not gonna elaborate on it? 
You, you, do you I don't, like the you name? Don't, you don't know growing, I, growing up, I, I, I... You don't have to. You can just eat, eat, eat. No, I'm going to remember. But, okay, wait. The question was, I should explain the meaning of my name. The meaning of my name, it means Atiribari. And do I live up to the name? Yes. <laughs> Okay, apparently I do not, but yes, guys, I do look up to the name, especially on the on 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 the good part, on the on the bad part. Like if you do something bad to me, I can forgive, but I can never forget. Like it's always there. If you do something good, I feel like I'm so much indebted to you. I have that loyalty because I don't forget what the good you thing you did. Money. And if you borrowed money, and if you no, that's the that 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 we goes without see, saying. Yes. You have to put that one. I can never forget, no matter what happens. So, but then most people don't really know me by TV, but especially um, only when I go home, like back home where I was, I was born and brought up, uh, people call me TV, right? but I get uh, different nicknames depending on where I am, like uh, the sub other part of South Africa, I, uh, people call me Licious. I go to maybe visit this country, I stay a little bit, I got a name, cause, and it's all because I only have one name, you know, like, usually in South Africa, people have, like, two names. How many names do you have? Two. Yeah. People usually have, like, two names. But then, my name came with a message. And it has to stay that name alone. So, whatever anybody think about me or talk to me, they have to be passing on that message. And if I only have one name, guys, too, right? It's long. If I'm saying it to you, it's better if you have to read it and you'll be like, well, um, is this a name or just words put in together? So most people have letters, issues, letters put, in put in together. It. So people have an issue of pronouncing it. And when I started going to Pretoria, Pretoria, there's like Sutus and Tuanas mix. Yeah. When they try to pronounce it, they say TD. And TD is another name. It's not the meaning of my name. I feel like if I accept that, mm. I'm, I'm being called something that I'm not. Yeah. Rather... I felt comfortable with, with, with getting nicknames. Like Blue. I didn't name myself Blue, guys. I didn't wake up. I'm like, I Who like the name Blue. Blue, Blue came... Um, I said something about Blue on Facebook. And then one girl was like... Mentioned where the Blue name came from. Blue came from... Um, Red Square Blue Eyes. Red Square Blue Eyes. You know Red Square the drink? Yes. Yeah, so Red Square have colors. They have Red Square Pink Eyes purple eyes and have red square blue eyes and i used to drink only red square blue eyes yeah i used to like i i used to drink red square blue eyes oh, and at that time i used I remember, to wear yes. jeans like a lot of i used to wear jeans i was like a tomboyish kind of person so i felt only comfortable in jeans and now you and are my jeans I, uh, now i'm you the guys yes <laughs> so yeah that's where the name blue comes from it's not really my name and how your phone was gonna fall off my leg. Oh, I'm sorry. And how the 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 tea writing that that's all about the tea writing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you're the first person to tell me you you like my name. I really she doesn't like her name, and I really find it beautiful. It sounds really beautiful. But but I'm I'm using it now for my business. Yes, and she has her business is currently. Uh, called Tilliness, mm -hmm. but she doesn't want me I, spicing know, up the name. She I wants it to be the her, way it is. I told her she has a very beautiful name and she should use it. The whole Tilly Valley. Tilly Valley. So guys, please write down the comment below and tell us what you think. Tilliness or Tilly Valley? Which one do you think is better? Because like when I put in Tilliness, I wanted my name to be part of it. And then, but... And tell them what merchandise you're going to put the name on then. On everything. Like, they don't know what you're selling. I'm, I'm versus... Oh, is that another question? No. Or is it still on the same it's question? It's still the same. Okay, what well, I'm into, guys, I started off... Okay. No. What? Don't... Because we're going to do that at the end. So just tell them your name. It's on clothes? Called. Yes, that's it. It's on clothes. And um, hair collection, I haven't really like owned it like that. Like I haven't done as much work as I do on clothes. So 
it's on clothes it's for now it's on clothes so yeah that's what chilling is it right now okay i'm ready you ready for yours when you are question number one uh -huh. i'm gonna be reading out clouds i'll be reading out my questions so just the one they're one. here just one right yes so I'm gonna, I mean like every time my turn comes, I'm gonna be reading mine. So, what's one thing? Oh, what? <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> what's, what's, what's the one thing that people will never know <gasps> by just looking at you? By just looking at me? Mm -hmm. The one thing that people will never know by just looking at me mm -hmm. is that I am no, I don't think so. Is that I am I don't know I don't wanna say it though. Say it all. You know if you don't answer a question most things will happen. If she doesn't answer a question guys we're gonna she mentioned that we have a surprise at the end of the video. So if she doesn't answer the question. Fine. We're gonna break the, the the surprise, and then she's gonna have to do whatever that it was supposed to do at the end of the video. Break the surprise. Well, she break the surprise. Break the surprise. Ah. <laughs> the moral of the story: We're gonna be asking each other questions, and we said we have to answer all the questions. Fine, she can answer the questions to me privately, but since we're doing this on a video, guys, so she decided that, you know what, let's say, just say, um, if you can answer in public, your answer is good. If you cannot answer, we're going to be eating this, guys. Do you see what this is? These are worms. Does he... <laughs> <laughs> this... Um, this is uh, silk worms. In Korean, it's called what? I have, I wrote it down on our receipt when we went to buy bondegi. Bondegi. In Korean, it's called bondegi. And why do people eat bondegi? I don't know. We're going to Google that with you guys. Uh, you can go be Googling it and we'll show you what we're going to find. We're going to Google it at the later stage and see why do Koreans eat Open it. Because like we know that Koreans don't eat. It has oil or water or something in it. Okay. So be careful. So I think we're gonna need a spoon or a fork. I've never. Cause like, if, if... <laughs> how does it smell? I am not gonna answer that question. <coughs> <laughs> am I gonna eat that? Yeah. Open it. I'm gonna puke on your couch. Open it. Let's see if Zeke's gonna eat it. Be careful. Cause this thing stinks. These are worms. You don't want to smell it? No, I can smell it. Huh? I can smell it. Smell that. I can smell it! Can't or can? Can! Then smell it! I can smell it! <laughs> and I think I need to, to pour out this water. Yeah. Give me a second, let me pour out this water. Oh, you put the strawberry in the... She put her... She put the strawberry... Wait, you can't see it. The water is all yellowish. She put the strawberry in the vodka and cranberry. How does it taste? Moon blue, this is strong. It is? <gasps> Sorry. Is it strong? Mm. Baba, come here. Come here. Come, come eat. Oh, Lord. Guys, she wants us to eat this. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see I don't it. want us to eat that, but... If you're not gonna answer some questions, then you won't eat mm. it. Um, uh. See, but I told you earlier I have a stomach ache. So, then answer a question. Uh, no, I can't. You can't. Mm -mm. Your whole house is gonna smell like that. Like yeah. you're gonna need air freshness after this, guys. I'm gonna burn some candles. Can you see? It's a good thing that's what being some candles. This is relaxes me a lot. I love this. Mm, this one, um, is that grape? It's uh, uh, blackberry. Oh, this okay. is blackberry. Uh, Woodwick, I bought it from Olive Young. Mm. I've got the big one. You also. like Olive Young? Mm. Do you have, do you have, 
point point card or something. Yes. Let me see if my dog wants to eat one. If Zig doesn't eat this. Come baby. Zig <laughs> smelled it and shook his and I wish I could show this. Ah, I can't. Ah. He, he doesn't. When he's yawning, he's uncomfortable with it. He's been smelling it since. A dog cannot eat that, my girl, and you don't want to eat that. You, you're going to eat that. First, Google, why do we eat silkworms? How do you call them? I don't even know what they're called. Like I've Silkworms. Never, like silk as in like silk silk? Uh-huh. Okay. Maybe I'll feel better when I eat it. Then I know the reason that I'm eating it for, right? Yes. So if it's gonna brighten my skin, but I know it's, it it will have. Um... Why do people no Google? Why do people eat silkworms? <sighs> Go down. Uh, many insects with silkworms included have been found to be a rich source of protein, fiber, and some vitamins and minerals. They've even been eyed as an option for protein, protein rich space food for astronauts. Hell, I'm eating this shit. your sprite dive in <laughs> oh. <laughs> ah. but is it bitter smell my tongue i don't even want to smell your tongue like i smelled that you want me to smell your tongue eh? i will answer all the questions from now <laughs> <laughs> i will answer all the questions from now <laughs> Okay, now it's time for your question. Are you okay now? Can we continue? Are you calm? What's your favorite food? See, I'm asking you easy questions. Is that was that difficult? Yeah. Oh, sorry. My favorite food. Mm. It's chicken feet, guys. <laughs> she was telling me. <laughs> like it's true. Like. <laughs> Wait. Tell them the other day you ate chicken feet with what? With chicken gizzard. Chicken hearts. I mix. Like, I mix uh, the chicken gizzards. I mix uh, chicken hearts. Yeah, the other day when you called me, I was eating it with chicken hearts. That was before. And then a few days ago, on, on Christmas, actually. On Christmas, guys, I ate pop. I ate pop chicken feet uh, mixed with chicken hearts. No, with chicken gizzard, yes, I ate with chicken gizzard and an acha. That's my favorite food, guys. That's my favorite food. Like, I can eat it anytime, any day. Okay. Next question. Okay, now you're making me nervous. Like, you say my questions are mm -hmm. difficult. Fire away. Okay. I know my viewers will admit that she you know is a what? very good looking she, woman. She knows me really well. And that's why she has all that. By the way, I don't know her questions. She doesn't know my questions. Mm -hmm. She knows me really well. And I know the kind of person she is. So she's going to make me eat that shit. Sorry, who I came up to say shit. Who came up with the idea of eating me? But I didn't know that it tastes <laughs> like that. I thought it was tasteless, like tofu, right? Like we don't like tofu, but now I like tofu because it's tasteless, and there's a reason for me <coughs> that I can eat it. So, 
you know when somebody uses their own how do you say that shooting yourself with your own gun yeah that's what is happening right now mm. so you're gonna need a whole but eat a whole bunch of strawberries because you're trying to get out rid of the taste of it's helping is it mm. oh, apparently guys if you find yourself eating that and you didn't know or you're forced to or help. whatever reason strawberries are the remedy so my next question is <laughs> i'm sure viewers who want to know what your relationship status oh i'm seeing as you said that you know and no wait my question is not done you're gonna have ah! to last <laughs> rate you can't put okay. two questions in one question are you uncle go are you single or not single or whatever you might put your status i would like you to explain like add something to it what do you mean add something are you a, okay so my question was are you romantically involved oh no i'm not are you available i'm not available either I mean, I'm kind. I'm I'm available. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm available when I want to be available, and then I'm not available because I don't feel like being available. But right now, as we're talking. But right now, I'm single, and I'm not available and not available because i just don't feel ready it's not um it's not because i'm playing games with people or mm -hmm. that i i don't i don't have people in my life anyway you know that right mm -hmm. um so it's not that i'm playing games with people it's just um or that I'm, th I think I, I'm confused and when I see which one jungling this is. Yes, that. no. Or yeah. when um, someone asks me out on a date and I decline, it's not because I think the person is not worth worth spending time with. It's just that I don't feel ready to date. And that's a good thing. And it's not it's not everybody that can be able to to stand to it mm. i know that many many women even men might get rid by reach that point where they'll be like i'm not ready mm. to be romantically involved with anyone but then they still play around but then they still do it and at the end of the day that's when they start breaking other people's hearts yeah play around because yeah. like inside they know i'm playing and that is not really fair at and all you keep on the other someone person else false hope and you're wasting their time because the yeah. time that they're wasting on you they would have probably met somebody that is romantically available yeah and, okay or emotionally available and i'm not saying that i'm not emotionally available i i'm very i'm very much good with communication and in tune with my feelings and in in tune with my thoughts and what i want and what i don't want what i like and what i don't like um but i just don't feel ready to 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 share my life or to share my body or to whatever with someone else at the moment right now that's it okay shoot yours it's my turn yeah. let's see what's i have What's your oh, this is the most beautiful question, but you won't like it. How do you put beautiful and I will not like it on 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 something? Be because I want to get under your skin. What's your fondest memory of your mom? <laughs> Did I get under your skin? I'm having chills right now. Aww. Like I'm trying to pick one, guys. I'm I'm trying to pick one that like no, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. Like I I 
I never used to like talking about it, mm. but right now I feel like oh, I can. Cry. I feel like I can, guys. By the way, my mother is late, and I love her so much. I still do. That's how much I love. Her. I wish I did this when she was still alive. This is her name. Yeah. Over here, Takani. That's her name. With um, with some birds, like some some doves, which apparently symbolizes peace. So, I love the fact that she knew everything. You know, she, she was that woman who would be like, she would be, let me speak of one. Because, like, guys, there's so many. I remember the other day I slept over mm -hmm. here and I almost spent the whole night explaining her the, the, the memories. I love I it so her mother. Hard. Like, hilarious. Okay. And you you didn't have the easiest upbringing also, right? No, but I was raised by an African woman. Yes. A but single parent. She finds... She's... I think you're the second person, the other girl I knew like a few years ago, but I didn't know her that well, right? But you're the second person that I met that see the joke, the funny in your pain because i understand i think when you get when you get older you you, you get to understand uh -huh. that it's not because because at that moment probably you'll feel like your mother doesn't love you enough yeah or somebody's trying to oppress you yeah. they don't want you to be free because and and when you really look back at it i am who i am because of whatever that she did yes. though i'm not saying that i was i was crazy and i'll get out of line and then for her, she would do her own ways to, to, to try and put me back in line. But when I think of those, the one thing I'm going to talk about right now is we took a trip to Joburg and back. <laughs> it was only me and her in the car. In the car. She used to sell some, 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 some blankets. Uh -huh. So she went to buy the blankets and come back. So yeah, she did like, in Joburg. It's like it's like, like four hours or a warehouse. Like or? it's a it's a warehouse. Okay. It's like a four hours drive. Drive. It's me on her in a car, and she knows I'm not gonna sleep in her car because my mother used to drive like a taxi driver, guys. <laughs> <laughs> if you know South African taxi, taxi drivers, drivers. <laughs> <laughs> like you used to drive like a taxi driver. Like she didn't. She doesn't have to tell you to. Button your safety belt. Like if you enter my mother's car, even at the back seat, you yeah. will look for the safe, for the safety <laughs> belt. Like she drives like a, like a taxi driver. So there's no way that I'm gonna sleep. And then she decided to use that chance to talk to her teenage daughter about boys. I think you told me this story. I did. Like she started to open to me. I started giving me an advice. Actually. She was a tough African woman who cannot sit down like, do you have a boyfriend? You know how, uh, uh, like, she tried to enforce it on me. Like, mm. this is what you're supposed to do. This is how it's supposed, like, if you sleep with a guy, you're going to get pregnant. But I cannot really tell you the point of, like, that is four hours drive, guys. Four hours from Joburg. From Venda to Joburg. From Joburg to, so that's literally eight hours. Eight hours. Because we left home in the morning and we arrived home in the evening. Mm. Right? Mm. So, all throughout the whole time, she was giving me advice as a woman giving an advice to her young How lady. How old were you? I think I was, I was on my teens. I think I was like 14, 15. Young! And she's doing that. Okay, but you have to. Yeah, like, there's no, I, I think the more the kids knows yeah. growing up, the better. So, I think also because... I was like a most of like as I said I was like a tomboyish kind of person so I used to hang around with guys mm. in her mind she probably thinking like maybe I've started sleeping dating one of them. Uh, I'm sleeping one of them and she had to put that idea on my head because she knows if she asks me I'm gonna say no mm. you yeah. understand so she talked about boys can you can, can you imagine a parent talking about one topic for eight hours the whole eight hours that she was talking about boys to an extent that I ended up forgetting everything she said. So when we got home, she asked me what she was saying. Mm. I couldn't come up with at least two oh my points. Goodness. Of, like, it, it happens. You know, like, it's like when you go to church, 
the stretches that, that, that says like five hours Jesus exactly you end up forgetting like you go to church that that that, that, that takes like four hours mm. And then you come out of church to start to think. And you can't yourself. remember anything. You can't remember anything that you, you can really make a story out of it. That yes, that's what what happened. That that was my mom, guys. Like she, and she used to tell me that I'm not beautiful when what? she's angry. When she's angry. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she knows she used to. She, she didn't say that. She said, "So you think you're beautiful? Like, you know you're not all that beautiful. I'm the one helping you." Like, if you were with my daughter, I don't know how you would have looked like. Like, but then I'm your daughter. <laughs> and the funny part is, when she meets her, her, um, her, her friends, she'll be like, where's my beautiful daughter? It's my beautiful daughter. <laughs> but when she gets angry at me, she'll tell me, like, you're really not all that beautiful. <laughs> like, <laughs> and at first it used to really bother me until I, I talked to my, my, my little sister mm -hmm. about it. I was like, I think your mom. Your mom said that I'm not beautiful. She was like, why are you worried? Like, she says that to everybody. <laughs> like, no. According to what I understand, even though you, 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 you give birth to a child with, like, 15 heads building one, you'll still tell your child you're very beautiful. But my own mother is telling me that I'm, I'm not beautiful and I don't see anything wrong. <laughs> no. And then I realized that, yeah, when she, was, when she gets angry, like, she tries to... Because I never used to talk. Mm. So when she gets angry, she will. You were shy. She will do everything on me. Like she would, she will try. Like she will beat me. I will not even cry. Mm. So like, she she will try to find something mm. get to me. So for her, for her, for her, for to at least see a tear out of me, and and, and with that, I never cried. If I mm. before, I always cry outside on so. your own. I miss her though. I really miss her. <laughs> I really miss this moment. Okay, you satisfied? Yeah. My question is the number three. Okay, this one should be easy. Okay. What do you do for a living currently? And what is your like? Is is it your long term dream job? Like you're gonna continue doing it? What are you doing currently? If you if it's not, what is your long term dream job? So currently I'm I'm a licensed teacher. Um I teach in South Korea. I'm an English teacher. Um it's I thought I thought this was my dream job. Mm -hmm. um, it turned out not to be. Well, actually, no, I didn't think this was my dream job. I just I came fell into it. Yes, I came for money. And um, I came because um, because South Africa is not safe. Mm -hmm. True. That's why I came. But um, I've recently been feeling that teaching is not for me anymore. Um, and I started getting depressed about it. And I knew I'm always the person, the first person to, to say that. If you complain about something, then you should do something about it. True. And so, I started complaining to you. Mm -hmm. And I started complaining to another friend of mine, too. Two other friends of mine. <clears throat> and I realized, I don't feel good complaining. So, I have to do something about it. And I did something about it, so... I'm a, a marketer, a digital marketer. Um, I work with, uh, or ra rather, I right now I'm specializing in um, helping um, investment professionals getting more clients. Mm -hmm. 
right? That's interesting. Is this your dream job? It's not my dream job, but it's what's gonna, I hope it's what's gonna make me money. Also, the reason why I'm doing it is because I want to leave teaching. So I'm going to be soon a retired teacher in two months. In two months! <laughs> Are you really that excited to leave teaching? Yes. You girl, you don't know what teaching entails. Like, I've not been only teaching in South Korea. I've been teaching in South Africa as well. <sighs> no, I can't. I can't. And also, um, I'm leaving Korea because the environment is not good, good for my health. And going back to teaching in south africa or wherever it's it's not gonna work for me so that's why i decided to open up this business my company's name is juanita the fish finance digital marketing you can go check it out on my facebook and linkedin see the kind of friends i have <laughs> Um, See the kind of friends I keep. <laughs> Sadly, I've made a good one here, guys. <laughs> um. So, what was the question? Do I? No, it's this is also not my dream job. But you're probably gonna think that I'm really materialistic, and I don't care. Maybe I am. Maybe I'm not. But money is really important to me. Especially because I'm single and I take care of myself. Single or not, you're not supposed to be expecting anything from anyone. Like you should be able to. Exactly. That, that, that's what I, I believe when it comes to, when it comes to that. Having having a boyfriend or being married, it doesn't make that person your ATM, and it doesn't make that person your your, your parents. Because I feel like the only parents are the only ones that are, are liable for. You're giving you money mm. to take care of you. You understand? And as well as, as parents, Look, whatever they're, not, your they're parents... not supposed to do it forever. There's a certain age 18. that it, it has to stop. You cannot ask your, your, your excuse me, you cannot ask your parents some certain things. Mm. If you have things that you need to ask, there needs to be things that are supposed to help you build you on what you want to do f so that you can do it for yourself like i'm not saying that because when you reach 18 your parents are not supposed to help you they should help you with things that are supposed to build you like you cannot get i, I love my vodka but i cannot go ask <laughs> for vodka for my mother yes like my mother is not supposed to be doing that like there's a certain age that that is not her problem but if say that like, they say i don't have a job and i need to supply my cv i need to go to this place and that place she can help me with the money for me to do those things mm. like that's that, that's how i feel like i don't i don't like the fact that people will feel like because i have a boyfriend um he has to uh, uh, buy my wig buy my makeup buy my clothes and then at the meantime what am i doing mm. like why are you asking my question oh um, anyway that's what she said that's what i wanted to I say <laughs> I wanted to know, baby. I wanted to say everything that she wanted to say. Um, I I take care of myself. So if you think that I'm materialistic, that's your opinion of me. It's not my opinion of myself. Um, I love money. I love making money. So I'm hoping that this new business of mine will be very lucrative and i know it will make a lot of money so and now i've also become a youtuber that's also a job right yes it is because uh right now i'm struggling to smile and <laughs> no seriously because i have a, a stomach ache i told you that before yeah. right and um we've had a busy morning and I feel a little bit drained also. And a long night. And we had a long night also. Um, we were up. We weren't outside. We were just in bed talking. Like we're doing now but more in a 
deep things. We usually talk about deep things. Intimate way, yes. Like in in in, in private, it's all about serious things. Yeah, um, and it's all about goals and, and you know. Like we go deep. Like what are we? What are you doing? Yeah. And what what's were next? you thinking? What were you thinking? Like okay, we now we give what's each next? other the real truth and the honesty and the transparency. Mm -hmm. That's what we do. I, th I think that was really got me so close to you. Because every Stop! time I talk to you... Stop! That's a question. Oh. I must ask you a question. Oh, it's your turn. Yes. Okay. Uh, what's your most embarrassing moment? Do you have one? Yes, I do. A lot. <laughs> Tell um. one. Um, one. Uh. One was was when I fought it in front of my, my of a guy that we just had a first day. You fought with a guy? Like, like fart, like past guess, fart. Oh, fart! I fought. Uh, like <laughs> farted. So, it was, it was, it was in front a, of someone. I don't even fart. In first front day. No, you you, in okay. Front of you? No, you don't. It's not like I wanted to. Uh, no, I do fart in front of you. I don't remember. I just farted in the bathroom in front of you when I told you I have a fart. No, I thought you said you wanted to fart. I was like, fart? Yeah. You said it's not coming out. <laughs> <laughs> it came out though. So, okay, so... <laughs> it, it, and you know, usually, I don't know about other people, usually when I fart, like the one that makes noise, mm. it doesn't smell. <laughs> but the, 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 the quiet one, it smells. But then, what was worse? I don't like. Is it not normal for it to just come out of its own? <laughs> Girl, that <laughs> that's what happened. Old. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's what happened. Like, like it got out, and I was, I was shocked. By <laughs> you were shocked. <laughs> like I jumped. <laughs> Did the guy hear? No, obviously he not. He did, because he looked at me. He did. Was it a, a noisy it, one? It was a noisy one, and we're at the restaurant it's during the day. <laughs> <We're> sitting, <laughs> we're sitting, it, was, it was a lunch. We're sitting opposite each other. Opposite each other. Uh, and then it happened. What did he do? And he saw that I'm, I'm embarrassed. <laughs> Probably he was embarrassed for me as well. Like, <laughs> where was this girl <laughs> Oh, this girl fought in front of me and yeah guys that, that, that was like the worst moment. I, like i felt like i should stand up and walk mm. but it was gonna be more embarrassing yeah i just, I just stood there and, but yeah apparently everything went on well after that you're blocking mine apparently everything went went well after that and yeah that's what happened that, that's my most embarrassing moment like i can't think of anything worse than that like and I, I actually did have a, had a, had a crush on the guy. That's better, right? Mm -hmm. I actually did have a crush on the guy. So that's what made it worse. Like, so it was. So did you see him afterwards? Actually, we had a, a, a very good relationship that lasted for like about two years, two, three years. Okay, so that's fine. Yeah, but at that moment, like, it was embarrassing. Yeah. Like, I thought it, like, it was surprising. I don't know, maybe it only happens to me, but it, it still happens. Never happened to me. It still, it still happens to me. Just that right now when it happens, Does I'm it in happen Korea. Does it happen to you? In Korea, in Korea, it's not embarrassing. It's normal. Oh, yeah. Like, they would walk right in front of you and fart. Walking. They would walk right in front like of walking. you and burp you'll in like, your face. Yeah. Like, they'll be coming from the side and you'll be coming from the side. And when you pass, they'll burp and it's right in your face. Or they'll be... <sighs> Please let me enjoy my and vocab, please. My my let me enjoy my vocab, please, please. Okay, baby. But my my dog is walking and then I have to steer him like different ways because I would I don't want him to walk in in <laughs> my time to ask a question. Mm. Let me ask. The next one, guys. So we are on number four, and then and we'll... we are forty-five minutes in. 
Yes. So we're gonna do this one and take a break. No. Yes. No, two more. This one and the next one take a break. So number question my question number four is what bridges what bridges? What bridges? Like the bridge, how bridges are what bridges are you happy you burned? Ooh. Actually let me just say one. Which bridge are you happy you burned? Um, one with someone that I thought was a good friend. I also called her my best friend. Um, but I'm happy that I burned it because, um, according to me, this is only my opinion and what I experienced, she had a toxic personality. So, um, and I also know of other people that, that she hurt. So, okay. your question, question number four, four. no, five. Oh yeah, five, because you're the one who started. What did you want to be when you were a little girl? But you're gonna be surprised. I don't know. Eat. No, like no, I eat. didn't. No. No, like seriously, eat. Well, wait. What did I wanna be when I was? I didn't know what I wanted to be when I grew up. No, but you have to say something. Eat. I wanna explain. Okay. I didn't know. Like literally, I didn't know. And uh, to an extent, where when I reach, like I started five, when I had to go to but secondary you school. You were a little girl. Listen. When I reached standard five, going to um, what do you call this secondary school? Mm -hmm. It was I needed to choose which secondary school to go to according to what I want to be when I grow up. Mm. Yeah, because like we have commercial schools, we have agricultural schools, and yeah, you understand. You so were fortunate. Yeah, but like where where I grew up, they they, they we had schools like that, like. This school is for this, only concentrate on this. I, I never had to do biology and and, 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 and biology and, 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 and what do you call this accounting we, we, at the same time. We don't have those type of schools. Like in our schools, you must do everything. No, we don't. Like you go to a school that you only do commercial school. Like I went to Quebec commercial school to so all of you that I excuse me, that in Vietnam, so I did commercial subject. And the reason why they took me to a commercial subject, my mother sat me down. And she asked me, what do you want to be when you grow up? And I was like, I answered her, like, what I'm saying right now. Like, I don't know what I want to be when I grow up. I've never really thought about it. And after that, she gave me an assignment. Go and find out. So I feel like it's not really what I really dreamed of as a child. Mm -hmm. I felt pressured to have come up with an answer. Like, you have a question, you have come up with an answer. And she explained that, like, for us to know which school to take you to. Because mm. you, you will not want to... Be a doctor and we'll take you to a commercial school. Mm. Like it's gonna be a messed up thing. So I the only reason I came up with at school they talk about what do you wanna be? People say doctor, people say this, people my mother was a nurse and the, the health was not my thing because I'm scared of blood. And I didn't know much of the other things. And the only thing that came to my mind was I wanna be a businesswoman. Hmm. That was that's what came to my mind and that's why after that she took me to a commercial. Commercial school. Or commercial school. And then she kept on pushing me after that. You want to be a businesswoman? What do you want to do? Like, what kind of business do you have? What are you passionate about? And I didn't know, guys, until I, f it, I let it found me. I didn't go found, for, found it. I did, yeah. I let it, the, the business come and find me. And I'm into business, apparently, right now. Like, I'm a real business hustler. But you can. And then we take a break, right? Oh, yeah, this is number five, guys. And then we're going to take a break. Um, what are you best at, my dog? I don't know. Your nose. No. <laughs> I'm not eating that stuff again. I don't know what I'm best at. Okay, there's something that you know, no matter what, I can do this with my eyes closed. I am best at making kids feel loved 
That's what I'm good at. That's so sweet. Do you know and the, no, I'm not thing just saying that for you to say that comment now and whatever. I'm just saying that's what I know I'm Yes, best I, said, at. I said it's sweet. But because it's not everybody that's best with kids. You know that, right? I'm not saying I'm good with kids. I'm saying I'm good, <laughs> I'm best, I'm good at making kids feel feel loved. And you think that's an easy thing to Because do? to me it's easy. No, because you're best at it. Because I like, I like, and this is probably not a very professional thing to do in my industry, in my profession. Uh, I like giving hugs and play and, you know, and hugging kids are probably a taboo. It's, it is a taboo in school. But Really? Yes. But um, not really a taboo, but it's kind of frowned upon in some areas. Okay. Um, yeah. You want to add? Mm -hmm. All, right. All right, guys. So that is days. That is that. But we had 10 questions, 10 questions, 10 questions each. And then we're going to take a break, guys. No, Let us. Five questions. 10 questions each. Yeah, five questions each. Really? Yeah. I have 10. Five and five makes it 10. And this is a 20 questions. Yeah. So we had five questions. Yes, we had five. We're supposed to have, we have 10. <laughs> and then we've answered five. Yes. So there's five left. We're just going to take a So we're going to take a break. break. And then we're going to see you on the part two. Part two, part two. So wait on for the part two, guys. And then you hear more questions. More yeah. Who? Let's see who's gonna be drinking. Who's gonna be eating more worms? I'm not <laughs> eating that stuff again. I'll see you guys on my next one. Mwah. Don't forget to subscribe on my channel. Subscribe to all my girls' channel here. It needs this corner and follow her on Instagram, guys. I love you. <laughs> that.